So let's take a look at how to work with nested fields. So first thing, uh, open graphqlhub.com on your browser and here you can choose from the API of your choice. Open at any new tab. Okay, now here I'm going to first start with a simple cookie. Okay, so here let's say I want to use GitHub. Okay. Okay, now inside GitHub we have one repository uh, we can use the Express. Okay, it's from Express JS user account. Okay, now I want to capture some of the details that I and need. Okay, but there are some fields which are nested, such as let's say issues. Okay, so issues takes ID, then title, then body. Okay, and then there is also one more thing about issue is who reported that issue. So if the user uh, has ID and login field, okay. So these are the nested queries. Okay, so you can see the nested field here, issues that has user as another nested field. Okay, so when you're working with some of the API, you may come across some of the fields that have subfields and you can still use them in your query as nested fields. Okay, if you run this, you will get the data in that exact nested order. Okay, as you can see, ID name, and then you have issues, the issue with user ID, as you can see, on this result will show that result in the same exact order. So this was a simple introduction on how to make use of nested fields within GraphQL query.